The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Amit Goswami. Quantum non-locality and distant healing. The physicist Alain Aspect and his collaborators, 1982, verified quantum non-locality in a laboratory experiment in which two correlated photons emitted simultaneously by an atom and moving away from each other were collapsed always in the same polarization state of actuality, although there were no signals between them. Yes, correlated quantum objects can influence one another at a distance without exchanging signals, by virtue of their quantum non-local connection. Quantum objects are calculated as waves of possibility, and quantum mathematics enables us to calculate the probability associated with each possibility. In this way, quantum physics is probabilistic, and for a large number of events, randomness prevails. That is, the free choice that exists for individual events is always exerted so as to preserve the randomness in a large number of events. Thus, the quantum non-locality that is revealed in Aspect's experiment is more like an event of what Carl Jung called synchronicity, meaningful coincidences attributable to a common cause. Synchronicities are not uncommon in the healing literature. In the experiment of Grinberg, Silberbaum and colleagues, 1994, two subjects meditate for 20 minutes with the intention of direct, non-local communication. After the 20 minutes, they continue the meditative intention, but from two separate Faraday cages, electromagnetically impervious chambers, where each one is wired to an individual EEG machine. Then, only one subject is shown a series of light flashes, producing electrical activity in his brain, which is deciphered from its recording in his EEG as an evoked potential. Amazingly, his partner's EEG readings, when deciphered, show that the evoked potential, evoked by the light flashes, has been transferred to her brain as well, without any local connection. This experiment was subsequently replicated by the neuropsychiatrist Peter Fenwick in London. What is happening? The answer lies in the involvement of consciousness. In the case of correlated brains, as in the experiment described, or in the case of correlated minds, as in mental telepathy or distant healing, conscious intention is involved in establishing and maintaining correlation between subjects, the person praying, and the person prayed for in distant healing. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.